He has been the subject of investigations by the United States Senate and numerous media outlets, but rarely has the televangelist and faith healer Benny Hinn granted an interview to defend himself. Until tonight. He is perhaps the biggest televangelist in the world. Benny Hinn has preached to tens of millions of people all over the planet. His television show airs in 200 countries every day. Come on, lady. She can walk without the wheelchair, without the cane. The core of his appeal, his claim that God uses him to miraculously heal the sick. The people are so hungry for God here, my God. Whoa. But so you got to explain this to me. How does it work? Are you saying that the Holy Spirit enters you and you can heal people? Well, I'll try to explain that to you. The anointing, which is God's power, comes on me. Yes, I can actually feel it. And people start getting healed. You'd be amazed some of the, th of the things I hear on that platform from the cancer, the, the pain is gone, the this is gone. Uh, I was sitting on my wheelchair and I can walk now, such things like that. Hin was born to a Christian family living in Israel. As a young man, he became a devout evangelical. He now controls a ministry that collects an estimated $100 million a year in donations from people who Hin has convinced that God heals through him. People have called you All a kinds con of man, oh, a fraud. So let me just put the question to you bluntly. Okay. Are you taking advantage of people who are profoundly religious and also vulnerable because they're in physical pain for your own personal enrichment? Well, I'm, I'm glad you're asking. Let me tell you something. I would not do this for money. Thanks. If people Thanks. think I would do this for money, after all the misery I've had to go through, what misery? Oh, dear God. You're a human being like me. How would you like to be called all those names? I mean, who wants that? Never come back. There it goes. Come what on, you're asking is, hand. am I using the so-called lie that healings really happen so I can make money? Correct. Okay. Of course not. You cannot fool all the people all the time, right? You don't need to fool all the people all the time. You just need to fool some people sometimes. <laughs> Well, okay, that's, that's, okay, I mean, I understand that, but I will tell you this. I think if I was fooling the people over 35 years of it now, I would have been caught already fooling them. You, is the pain gone? Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Hin admits he doesn't have any medical verification of any of the healings, and in fact, some of the supposed healings have turned out to be not real at all. In Jesus' sweet name. Nine-year-old William Vandenkolk claimed his failing eyesight had improved at this Hin Crusade in 2001. As soon as God healed me, I could see better. William is now 17 and still legally blind. I'd say I was caught up in the moment, being as young as I was, thinking I could actually be getting my vision back. Yep. His name is William, and he still can't see. These are things I cannot explain, because I am not the healer. I'm human like you. I make mistakes like anybody else. Hin says God does the healing, not him, and that he is therefore not responsible for what people claim on stage. But as I continue to press him, his publicist starts to interrupt angrily. What are some of the other issues besides healing? He just said I can ask him whatever he wants. No, 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 I'm really fine with that. In a moment, the conversation gets even more heated. Ron, Ron, I'm really enjoying this, and this, this is important. When I ask about the ongoing Senate investigation into Hinn's lavish lifestyle, funded in part by tax-free donations from the faithful. Two years ago, the U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley launched an investigation into six major televangelists, including Benny Hinn. The question, are Hinn and his colleagues using tax-free donations from believers to fund lavish lifestyles? Hen had never granted an interview on this topic until he sat down with us. Jesus Christ may have lived in poverty, but Benny Hinn lives large, in part off of tax-free donations his ministry collects from his followers. The blood of Jesus! The criticism is that you're leading a lavish lifestyle. Of course. 
off. It's of, always been that, by the way. That, that criticism is nothing new. Well, let's talk about that. Okay, let's. Nice. As a follower of, of Jesus, um, okay. you fly in a private plane. Yes, I You're do. You're staying right now in one of the fanciest hotels yes, in New York City. Yes, I am. You wear nice very clothes. nice clothing. So, do you not have any misgivings about that? No. Look, you know, there's this idea, supposedly, that we preachers are, are supposed to uh, walk about with sandals and ride bicycles. That's nonsense. She came out of it. She's healed by the power of God. Do you never have moments where people are writing out checks to you or filling out cards with their credit card information, and you're thinking, you know what, these people just can't afford it. They're doing this because they're desperate. And I, don't, I shouldn't take this money. Well, what you're saying to me is I should... I should reject their money because I'm fake? I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm asking you. If I was fake, I would absolutely give them back their money. But, but I believe that God called me to preach the gospel, which is very important. Senator Chuck Grassley's office tells us that Hinn has cooperated fully with his investigation into whether Hinn and other televangelists are using the tax-free donations they collect appropriately, although the senator has not yet released the results of his investigation. The senator himself stated that we gave them more information even than they thought we would. He did. You're right. But let me ask you, if you're so confident that this information proves that you're behaving appropriately, why don't you release it to me or the public? Well, I will, I, I'll say that the, the, we have an agreement with the senator to keep things confidential. I, I have nothing to hide, by the way. You have nothing to hide? No, of course not. He promises to give us any information not bound by the confidentiality agreement. So then I'll, I should be able to get whatever information I'm looking for. I hope you do. But after the interview, the senator's office told us there is no confidentiality agreement. You will bring the life of heaven with you. Even so, Hinn's ministry said it didn't have time to edit out personal information from its donors in time for our broadcast and therefore gave us nothing. As our interview winds down, another outburst from Hinn's publicist, scolding me for not asking about Hinn's new book about the Arab-Israeli conflict. You don't know about the book. Ron, Ron, that's not important. Can I please say something? The questions Dan asked me, I've been wanting someone to ask me for the last 20 years of my life. I think what this man did is fantastic, and thank you for doing it. No, really, I'm very pleased. I, Why? I, because it's time for me to tell it all. I don't want people talking for me. I want to talk for myself. In case you're wondering, Hin says his annual salary is somewhere over half a million dollars a year, although he won't say how much over half a million dollars. We should also tell you that he insists that his private plane is not a luxury, that he travels too far and too often to fly commercial.